welcome back to my channel. Today I'm heading to Hobby Lobby because I am going to get a jump star on some of my Christmas decor. Um, I already have most of what I need, but this year I'm not getting a whole lot of like big items or Christmassy items, I would say. I'm more looking to get some more picks um, for around the house just to use and stuff that I already have, like baskets and vases. So I'm gonna head to Hobby Lobby and just see what they have. Of course, everything is 50% off. So um, for me, that is the place to get all of the um, home decor and uh, floral stem stuff. That's the place to get all the floral stuff, in my opinion. But um, I'm heading there now. It's literally 88 degrees here in Florida right now. But I am listening to Christmas music and just getting in the whole Christmas mood. I've never done like a haul or like a shop with me video. I don't think so. I thought it would be fun to do it for Christmas because we all love Christmas decor around here. And I just thought it would be really fun. So I'm excited to take you along today and see what we find. I hope it's not gonna be too crazy. I'm getting kind of a late start today. Um, so I hope I don't hit like work and school traffic so oh, wish me luck I'm here and I totally forgot what it's like to go to a store and not have to get kids out of the car this is so nice I had such a peaceful trip to Hobby Lobby that I'm not even gonna put a voice over on this footage. I'm just gonna let you kind of browse with me and enjoy it. And if you're interested in just what I got, you can go ahead and skip ahead to the six and a half minute mark and I will just meet you over there. Thank you. 
Okay, so it's the next day and um, I had to bring everything in and get the kids all settled. So I didn't get to you showing you what I got yesterday. So today I'm gonna just continue that. I also stopped at Dollar Tree and Walmart just to look at the Christmas selection that they had. And I was looking for a few specific things and I figured I could get them a little bit less expensive at Dollar Tree or Walmart and I was right. So my Christmas haul might not be what you think. I have a few tips and tricks for saving money and also being able to reuse your Christmas stuff every single year without it going out of style so I'm so excited to get started and show you what I got also I shopped keeping in mind that I was decorating for my son's first birthday party which is a camping theme um, one happy camper so I thought that was really cute and I could use a lot of my existing Christmas greens and decor for his party so I just went to the store with that in mind to get a few things that would also uh, match his party so that said, let's get started. Okay, first up, I have some planters that I found half off at Hobby Lobby. Um, this is one of the things that was on my decor list to hunt for um, because I like to decorate with a lot of floral stems for the seasons and what better way to do that than to use vessels that are gonna just stay in your home all year long. So I had my eyes on this one and this one and I went today and they were half off and I was so ecstatic. I got this one, this was $18, so I got it for $9. It's really heavy weight um, and it has like that patina look. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it's like an aged stone um, clay pot. Um, and it's super heavy, so I'm excited to use this. I don't know where I'm gonna put these yet, but I know that they're gonna look beautiful with Christmas flowers in them and just changing it out through the seasons. I'm gonna show you an inspiration pick right here of what I wanna do with this um, with some greenery and white roses and just like super, super simple. I want like that Ralph Lauren home decor type vibe. Oh gosh, their holiday decor is right up my alley, so that's my inspiration. And I also got this black one. I love the rectangular shape and like it's really shallow so I could put it a lot of different places. And it was only $12 so it was half off. It was $6 and it is like super heavy but I love the black color of it. It just brings like that modern twist and I feel like it'll look really good um, throughout the seasons wherever I wanna put it. The first thing I did when I got to Hobby Lobby was make a beeline for their picks and their floral decor. So I went to the Christmas section and they have their whole row of um, Christmas stems and I immediately went to these pine needle uh, branches and I got like one, two, three, four, five, probably six or seven of these. I have a couple from last year, so I got just a few more and I think they just look so pretty and natural and they match the garland that I got last year um, that I'm gonna be using again this year. You can mix them with like reds and golds and it just looks like I went out in my yard and picked them. They're not too bright green. They're a beautiful like deep green and they were $3.99 and half off so what, $2? Um, but I went to Walmart and I found that they had these exact picks for 95 cents. So if you wanna save another dollar, go to Walmart and get these because they literally are the exact same ones. I'm gonna mix this with um, my new planters or vases, whatever you wanna call them, and just put them around throughout the house. And I think it just gives that simple, sweet touch of Christmas without being too like over the top. I love um, doing the individual picks so I can just kind of place them wherever I want. I also got these natural green stem. They were $3.99 as well, half off, so they were $2. Um, and I got four of those. And I think it would look really pretty mixed with, oh, I got five of them. I think it would be really pretty mixed with this pine, just a mixture of the greens. And that's like the perfect, base to build really any sort of um, arrangement that you want. So I'm excited for these. And these are gonna look so good for Wilder's party. It's a camping theme party. So I'm just gonna put these in bases um, or lay them on the table around the food or the presents and just decorate with them. So I'm getting double use out of them, using them for his party, but also using it for Christmas. And I know I'm gonna use these year after year. I also got these little pine cone picks. These were 50 cents. They were 99 cents, so half off, um, but they're just these little sweet picks. They have three pine cones on them. I got one, two, three, four, five, I think five of them, and I'm just gonna mix that in with my little floral arrangements, pine cones, like you cannot go wrong with them. I feel like they match any decor aesthetic, and um, yeah, they don't go out of style because what's more Christmas than pine cones? So 
Okay, next I picked up these little berry leaves. I really wanted to go with like a goldish toned theme. Um, I think it's really traditional, traditional Christmas colors, red, green, gold. So I got these and I got a ton of them because I'm gonna use them probably in my Christmas tree and then just take a few of those out and put them in my floral arrangement so it kind of all ties it in together, but they're really beautiful. Um, they're just these little gold berry leaves. I don't even know really what they're called, but they were $2.99. So they were $1.50. So I got like a bunch of them. I probably got like 10 or 11. I really love these. And I think gold is just like the perfect accent color. Okay, once I was done with the floral aisle, I went over to the next one and that was the ornament aisle. And I wanted to add a few more ornaments to our tree this year. So I found these really beautiful um, cross ornaments. They're so gorgeous. And I think, I don't think that they're like stone or anything. I think they're plastic, but they're so beautiful. They look so ornate and, um, vintage so i grabbed two packs of these there's three six in a pack so they were twelve dollars so i paid twelve dollars for two packs which i don't think is bad because christmas ornaments in my opinion are really expensive the ones i've been seeing even at walmart so two packs of these i think will be a beautiful vintage touch to the tree I knew I really wanted to get some ribbon this year because ribbon, I feel like you can dress anything up, even if it's super plain, ribbon just gives it that little elegant touch. So I went and I grabbed some of these velvet ribbons. They were 50% off too, so they were $8. They were $4 a piece, um, which I think is kind of expensive for ribbon, but I knew that I would be using it in a lot of my plain decor, like my my garland and stuff like that just to give it like that elegant touch so i got this beautiful um, deep christmas green and it's velvet and then this one instead of going with like a super christmas red i went with this burgundy scarlet color which is like it's not really showing up on camera but it's like a deep maroon red it's really pretty so that just kind of i thought looked good together and then i grabbed some gold ribbon this was not in the christmas section which i was really bummed because i was looking for like a gold silk ribbon and they didn't have any maybe they have it out net by now but they didn't when i was there and so i went over just to the regular ribbon crafting section and i got two rolls of this champagne colored silk ribbon and i think it would look really beautiful with um it draping down like on my garland because my garland's pretty plain it's just that pine needle with pine cones and this will just dress it up i think i'm gonna leave an inspiration picture right here but I thought that would be really gorgeous and I could drape this over some picture frames and just give it that simple yet elegant touch so I'm excited for these these are always good to have if anything you can use them on gifts so that's another tip if you don't want to spend a fortune just grab some ribbon and you can drape it over picture frames or around bases with some pine leaves in it and I think it would just be so beautiful and gives that Christmas touch without being too over the top so get yourself some ribbon I was seeing on Pinterest too, a lot of traditional homes um, will put little leaves in the top of their picture frames. I don't know what else to call it. Little sprigs, I guess, of Christmas leaves. And so I saw these at Dollar Tree. I popped in there actually looking for a different floral pick, but I saw these and it's like a pack of six. I don't know if you can see them. They're like just the traditional spruce stems with a, like artificial snow which i'm sure is going to make a mess that's the only thing i kind of wish it didn't have but i got these and some red berries um just these little picks to put on the top of picture frames that i already have hanging on the walls and i will leave another inspiration picture right here but i saw that on pinterest and i thought it was just such a, a subtle touch that made it look so cozy and christmasy you can even decorate things that you already have hanging on your walls i'm a big advocate for me at least i don't like running out and buying like christmas signs i like some of them i do and i do have some but each year i'm not looking for the christmas signs and words and um, different wall hangings and little stuff to put around because I really honestly don't have the room for it. So I really like to dress up the things that I do have and that are already hanging on my walls. Um, so if you're the same and you're like me, just go get some little sprigs, little stems, Walmart. These are from Dollar Tree again. Um, and you can just tuck them in the top of the picture frames and it would just like give it such an elegant touch. That's what I think, and I'm excited to try that this year. I think it's gonna look really pretty. And then the final thing, Dollar Tree didn't have the floral stems that I was looking for, and so I was like, I'll try Walmart. They're probably gonna be more expensive than I wanna pay, and so I went in just looking for white roses. 
and they delivered because I found a whole bunch of them and they were only $1.25. So I picked up like five bunches of them and I wanna put these in my Christmas arrangements this year in my vases with the pine needles. I think it's just gonna look so elegant and beautiful. I always forget that you can decorate with roses at Christmas because I think they are technically a Christmas flower. So if you're looking for an alternative to poinsettias, um, try some roses. Red would be really beautiful too. I just kind of wanted like a muted color. So I went with the white and I think that the white and the pine are really gonna look good together. Let's try, hang on one sec. So yeah, I think I was thinking like this combo and I love it. I think I'm gonna tear these little green um, leaves off because they're kind of like a limey green color, like an avocado green. So I might take these off and just leave like the white flower part, but I think that's gonna look so beautiful and elegant. I love that so much. To me, this is just like a timeless look and yeah, I'm excited to decorate with these. These at least will not die because I can't keep anything alive. Flowers I can't, children I can, but flowers I cannot. But um, I think this will look beautiful. That is all that I got. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it gave you some inspiration. If you have any comments or questions, just let me know down below. And good luck Christmas decorating and Christmas shopping. Get out there and get out there early because I'm sure it's gonna be a madhouse come the beginning of November. So good luck, have fun, and I will see you in my next video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bells because I don't post super regular. I try to, but I have two little kids, so. I upload when I can. I try and do it weekly, but it just doesn't always happen. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. And I am so excited to see you in my next video. Bye.